Frank Show. one 800 955 is the number. All you MTV fans out there who watch the uh, the programming, you're familiar with the show Awkward. It's one of the biggest hits they've had on MTV. A scripted series and season four premieres tonight. And we have one of the stars of the show, Greer Grammer. Where is she? Get her in here. She's in the Bristol Farms green room hanging out. Yes, now she she's is. Here with hey, us. Greer. Good to see you. Welcome. Have a seat. Now, uh, on the show Awkward, this is the first season that you're going to be on the show all the time? Yes. Uh, yeah. They I liked you from, so uh, much. Yeah, I went from recurring the first uh, three seasons and then finally got that big promotion on the on the fourth one. So. They must have seen that you got all the uh, straight A's at uh, acting school. That Well, this girl's good. We got to get her in here. So you even have to, I mean, if you already have a full-time gig, I mean, doing, uh, you know, on, on the fourth season of Awkward and you're in theater classes at USC and yeah. you're getting straight A's, why do you need theater classes? It's like, I got a job. I'm out of here. You can like, always every, get better. Everybody, that's what I did in college. I quit school. I'm like, I got a job. <laughs> Never went back. Um, I don't know. I mean, honestly, it sounds kind of lame to be like, probably half the reason why I'm doing college is for the experience of it. Um, I went to party. You know, party. party. Oh, you're a sorority girl, aren't I, you? I am a sorority girl, but not in a bad, I don't, that's well, always no, such a No, bad it's not light. a bad thing. I wasn't a sorority girl, uh, <laughs> newsflash, but I, um, I always wondered, like, do sorority girls have to do the same thing, or is that an old wives' tale, that guys have to do to get into fraternities? Like, what did you have to, no. it's not the same, I like, mean, I eat a goldfish and do all these crazy, no, wacky ew. things. I know, there right? are, I don't know, there are rumors, like there's this one about the washing machine where girls go and, you know, sit on the washing machine sure. and um, mm -hmm. you, then the like actives in the house take a Sharpie and circle all the fat on on the girls as oh, they're sitting on the washing God. machine. That's but not that's, a good position to be sitting in anyway. Exactly. If, um, oh. But no, I don't, I mean, we didn't, I don't think, I think that's just like, an old wise tale, I guess. So I you you pledge or whatever. So you spend mm -hmm. time with the girls of what you're in Kappa Kappa. Do you Gamma. live in the house? Yes, uh, I did for two years, but yeah. I don't currently. Is it always just a panty pillow party like they <laughs> portray in the movies? Absolutely. Oh, thank There's you. There's just for. it's so just you lie know, to raunchy them, and so yeah. many so many. Take off your shoes and your pants before you come girls in the house. Pillows. I mean, it's it's so great. <laughs> yeah. We're just all in each other's room all the time. There's feathers oh, everywhere. Yeah. Feathers. You know, yeah. Yeah. why not? You have yeah. to have the feathers. Of course. What's a pillow fight without panty rave? Right. That's mm -hmm. his fantasy. That's every yeah, fantasy. Yeah, I, uh, I was a uh, Sigma Phi hair salon. That was my... Oh. my uh... <laughs> the gay sorority. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was, were you? I was a Sig Ep when I was uh, in Indiana University. Do oh, they that's have, cool. Do they have Sig I mean, is they it all do. the same? They do. They have Are they Sig good, yeah. the reputation there at USC? No, they're not, huh? I Crap. mean, it's not that they don't have a good reputation. It's that I don't... That if you've never party, the Kappa camp. If you never, yeah, if you never party with <laughs> the Sig Eps, they suck. That, I'm that's like, awful. I'm gonna get back to school, and people are gonna be like, "Yeah, that's Greer who just like trash talked us <laughs> on the radio." Oh no! Oh no! All right. I won't even claim you guys. It's fine. We don't want to cause problems. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. I don't think I actually know anyone in Sig Eps. So right. <laughs> on on your uh, Twitter, it says you are a tangled enthusiast. That is yes. the picture. <laughs> uh, are, uh, Frozen's out, and it's a yeah. huge hit. I mean, uh, it's not toppled, tangled for you. Toppled tangled. This is such a difficult question. <laughs> yeah. Um, I love I love both. I have currently been obsessed with Frozen and watched Well in Disney I in general, right? Yeah, Disney yeah. in general. You know, I have an annual pass to Disneyland, the kind with no blockout dates. Oh, no yeah. blockout Our producer dates. Sammy too is a Disney fanat I mean like crazy. She goes all the time. Yeah, no, I go all I haven't been in like a couple weeks and, and it's, you're Jones in. Yeah. It's really weird to me. I think I'm going Thursday. So no black so <laughs> do you, you wait in line and you don't wait in line. No, I, I wait in line. You do wait in line. But when I go with my dad, I don't have to wait in line because oh, like, man. you know, he's a little bit cooler than me. Right. Sometimes. Yeah. Yeah, he gets recognized like, oh right up here, right, sir. Yeah. Come this way. Yeah, Kelsey yeah. Grammer yeah. is uh, Greer's father. <laughs> um so is this something that a guy who dates you is going to have to deal with, the the Disney enthusiasm? Yes. He, he. Abs absolutely <laughs> and it's I feel really bad for anyone that does uh, <laughs> I've no luckily I mean I don't know how I've had a boyfriend for a year and a half now and I don't I don't know why we're still together in the way that like I am so annoying. I'm so freaking <laughs> well, annoying. Admitting it, I think is. Are the, you saying yeah. let it go around all the oh, time? Oh, oh, <laughs> absolutely. Like anytime he's like, okay, you can choose the music in the car, and I'm like, you really don't want to do this. And he's like, God damn it, what did I get myself yeah. into? He's like, I don't want to build a snowman. And I like. There's this video of us, I just posted on Instagram, of us singing uh, the duet from Frozen, mm -hmm. but like he mouthed, to, he knows all the words now because I sing it so much, and he uh, he dubbed in his own words, which was like, kill me with bleach, <laughs> and 
<laughs> something with that, you know, and I was just like, you're But so he's mean. singing, he's playing along with you. Yeah. So at least yeah. there's that. Now, yeah. did he, had he been to Disneyland before he went on? Because I'm sure he's been with you in a year and a half. Yeah. Oh, my God. Absolutely. He I, had used been to have to, I used to have to, like, pay for his tickets because, you know, that's the only way I'm going to get right to go to disneyland um he had been i think when he was like 13 like he hadn't been in like years like he was like can we go on and you were like tower of terror it's new and i was like tower of terror is not new (laughs) that's the new ride here since i was in the sixth grade right calm down and uh yeah so since you know we did that i've i've he has a he has a pass now not not as cool as mine but he's got a pass i'm gonna make a confession and i'm just curious Okay, I've been to Disneyland for work. We would go mm-hmm. and we would broadcast jealous. from Disneyland, right? <laughs> but don't be jealous because I've never been to Disneyland. What? what? We were there for work. And then you left? But, yeah, the, we, I never rode a ride at Disneyland. <laughs> oh, my God. Well, I'm missing out. I'm missing yeah. out, right? I'm this. I'm totally missing You're out, totally right? Totally missing out I on get everything. On. I know. I got to get on this Disneyland. Greer Grammer hanging out with us. Does your boyfriend have something that you have to deal with that he won't let go? Let it, no, let, it let it go. He just can't let it go. Yeah. Um. Oh, I don't. I, like, is he into football? Like, yeah, he loves everything about sports. Ultimate frisbee. Foot. <laughs> I don't know about that it one, like but that's pretty cool. Thing, yeah. So ESPN <laughs> Sports Center. Oh, on, all the time. Like, da, na, na, he was da, na. so into March Madness. Like we were in Vegas, I think last weekend or something for one of the Kentucky games, and he had money on it, and his friends had money on mm. it. And, when I think they won by one, and so then oh. there was a push, and so he was freaking out over like, did he just lose money? Did he lose his friend's money? Because technically, he like bet money for his friend. Oh. So like, we're in the car, like back from wherever we were, and uh, it was just horrible. He was like on the phone, being like, blah, 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 and I was like, I can't deal with this. But <laughs> all relationships, <laughs> gambling. The best. Season four begins uh, for awkward in your senior year for mm-hmm. your character. Is that? I mean, you're not that far away from the senior year, I guess. I mean, what year are you at USC? I'm a senior. You're a senior, so you are. I mean, yeah. is it is it odd to go, let me get in that mindset of when I was a senior in high school to go back? Yeah, um, we screened the first episode a couple weeks ago, and I brought two of my uh, girlfriends from college, actually, to it. And they were doing this thing about, you know, college essays and the stupid, I don't know, topics that they give you. Like, what are you most proud of? Or right. what's your best accomplishment? And I just remember looking at them and being like, thank you. God, we don't have to do that again because uh, it's actual hell. Like right. applying to college, I only applied to USC mainly because I mean it was you know the only school I really that wanted was to risky. go to. I mean USC, it's pretty hard to get into. <laughs> yeah, um, I don't. The first thing my dad said when I called him, he was like, "How'd you do that?" I was like, <laughs> "I worked hard in school." <laughs> <laughs> How did you possibly get in there? <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, I don't know. It was such hell. I, I didn't want to fill too. out other applications. I almost didn't even apply. If you could <laughs> like, go back and live your own high school life over again, would you do it? Maybe. Oh, God. Maybe to not, because I wouldn't have to, like, you know, deal with, like, bills or taxes or, like, anything like oh, that. Oh, yeah, that when you know? times are easy. You yeah. Just like like hey. the, the biggest problem in your life is, like, the fact that this boy doesn't like you back. Right. You still That's, have your prom dress from proms back in the day? Yeah, kind of. I... I recycled prom dresses from when I did pageants. <laughs> Ooh, like what? What? Like, like you repurpose them, and like you would cut this part off. Like that's so yeah. Molly Ringwald in Pretty in Pink. Like she's in there and she's sewing and making it fantastic. Yeah, like I just had like dresses that I wore in pageants, and I was like, oh, oh, that'd be cool for prom. What was your talent in the one. pageants? Uh, I didn't have to do talent because I was in the USA system. They don't need talent in that system. You just need what? to look good in a bikini. Mm-hmm, that's oh. the talent. <laughs> that's oh, oh, that right. is. That's, <laughs> Very That's nice. the Donald Trump pageant for you. There you go. Ah, talent talent. Yeah. <laughs> Look at her. No, you technically I think like on air interview is your is your talent. All right. Well, you be aces right now. Yeah. So see, you, you win this. You, you won our pageant. Oh, Tell cool. us um, about the movie Life Partners because I see um, there's a lesbian in there and so what? I'll Yeah, yeah. I play a lesbian in it, uh, which was great. You know, I play Leighton Meester's girlfriend, and she's super hot. That so doesn't suck. Yeah. yeah. When is that happening? <laughs> when can um, I get tickets to that? I play Leighton Meester's gay best friend. <laughs> yeah. Right. Wow. Uh, I was so excited. My boyfriend was really excited yeah. about it because he was like, "Okay, wait. So you're playing a lesbian? Is she who, gonna come over? And you guys are gonna who are you kissing?" <laughs> All, all of his fraternity brothers were like, so uh, when when, are, when is this move coming out? When are you making out with Leighton Meester? Right. Like, oh, so what do you guys have to do on camera to really convince us you're lesbians? Um, not really too much, honestly, in the in the film. I was kind of disappointed. You just had to um, walk around like with your shoulders forward and stuff. And, right. and like, hey, field hockey. <laughs> no. no? 
Um, <laughs> yeah, because she looks like that kind of I'm lesbian. I'm just saying. Totally. Um, she can mold herself. She's an actress. Yeah, She's a straight true. A student. That's right. <laughs> You know, there may have been a couple of bees in there. Um, <laughs> no, you know, we just, uh, I think the main the main part was, you know, we just woke up in bed a lot together. It was like oh, how the scenes like usually Rizzoli like Rizzoli Niles always do. Started, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I didn't know they were lesbians. They're not, show. but they do these, I love Rizzoli Niles, and they, there was always this like lesbian undertone. They're not lesbians. They wake but, up in bed but, together. But like, she'll go, really on, look, no, no, but it'll be, they're fully clothed, but one of them just happened to fall asleep and they spent, and then they wake up in the morning and I'm like, oh my God. You're so like, there's a lot of like, something happened. Oh, please let something happen. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. So when does this movie, Life Partners, come out? Or is there not a release date um, yet? There's not a release date yet. I think it was just accepted into the Tribeca Film Festival, oh, that's actually. Cool. So that's coming up. So it'll it'll be there. And I think, uh, you know, we're entering it for Sundance next year. Mm -hmm. and It'll probably be an Outfest, things. too. Yeah, yeah. I think, yeah. actually, we got... I ran into someone at the Movie Awards on Sunday who... Uh, is really close friends with the with the producer, and he was saying all the great things. Did about you have it. to flip a coin with uh, Layton to see who would be like the the man in the relationship and who's going to be the feminine lesbian? We didn't. We oh, didn't. You both we didn't flip the coin. Yeah. Oh. No, I think she's. A, I think oh. her character's a little more of the the male one. The, I'm the my character's kind of clingy. Oh, okay. I'm kind oh. of a clingy, annoying girl, oh. just like in real life. Yeah. <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> What's your boyfriend do? Uh he's so boring. He's an accountant at Fox. Oh, just I, wow. just normal. I know. I know. It's, Does your dad like him? Yeah. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Although there was one time, his name's Cody, and there was one time where he called him Corey. He was like, "Where's Corey?" And I was like, "Who's Corey?" Cody. <laughs> that was like a year after you've been dating him. Over too. there. <laughs> it was like at the Christmas party. May or may not have had, oh. had a little bit of. Well, hey, you know. You know, of too much. It too much wine. It's the holidays. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Greer Grammer hanging out with us. She plays uh, the role of uh, Lissa on MTV's Awkward. The uh, season four premieres tonight at 10 p.m. on MTV. Thank you so much yeah. for coming by. Good luck Thank with everything. You. We'll be watching, and uh, stick around. We are Heidi and Frank. Cool. Oh, that was just a little sample of the Heidi and Frank show on 95.5 KLOS. Now, to get the show in its entirety, on demand, and if you want to watch the show, we webcast it every day, all you have to do is go to HeidiandFrank.com and become a premium package member. Do it right now.